if you are a female teenager, you have the opportunity to watch Twilight. The movies about Edward the Vampire and Jacob the Werewolf and a girl who cannot live without boys. Or you can watch a show about a different kind of superhero instead of Jacob or Edward. You can watch Clark Kent who is Superman in small fiddle and you can start watching him when he is not Superman but still Superboy and it's really really interesting and I really thought it was really interesting and it may be in a separate parallel universe where it's a different kind of Superman than the Superman in comics and movies and other TV shows but it's still close enough to the Superman that I was born and raised with. And it may be an alternative version of Superman in the way the story is told and the details, but it's still really interesting in the way that Superman talks and the way he looks and the stories that have been this very interesting TV show that, that lasts for like eight to ten years. And when it was coming to an end, I was really sad, and I was like, you know, why can't you continue? Because Superman continues to live when he's a man. Why does this need to be this a show about when he was a teenager and a little bit of his college years too? You know, why do you have to stop when he's like 24 years old or so? I want you to continue until he's like 50 or 80 years old. Keep the TV show. You know, it starts out in the TV show where he's living in Smallville. How about you continue until he's in Bigville? Start in Smallville, end in Bigville, in, in 50 years from now. Make Superman last forever, make the show last forever, make sure the actor never quits and goes on to other TV shows or movies or other things. Keep him forever because he is like one of the greatest actors who's ever played Superman besides the Superman who was in the original movies in like the 1970s and 1980s until he fell off a horse in real life and broke his like neck and back and then he ended up dying in the year like 2002 or so around the same time that Mr. Rogers Neighborhood died too. I think his name was Christopher Reeves, the original Superman of the movie, that is after the TV show, I think they had a TV show, maybe, or older movies from like the 1950s or 19 and 1960s, maybe, I don't exactly know, I think I thought they had another Superman, original Superman. Yeah, I think they did, but then they had the Christopher Reeves, who played the Superman in the newer movies of the 1970s and 1980s, and then, and then he got in an accident where he falls off, falls off a horse, and then, and then you kind of have a blink period, where maybe you just have like cartoon Superman, and then... You have the TV show. Yeah, you have the live action TV show of Superman. Like the new adventures of Superman. And I really like that Superman too. So he might be my like my second or third favorite. That's really he might be my favorite actually. And then my second favorite would be Smallville. And then my third favorite would be Christopher Reeves in the movies of the seventies and eighties. Then you have the man in, in the Man of Steel Superman, the reboot Superman, which came out this year, 2013, and the new Superman movie, the sequel, the next one that's coming out in like a year or two or something, is gonna have Batman in it, or that's what they say, but not the the 
what do you call it, Christopher Nolan Batman of the Dark Knight, the, of the new actor that played him. What's his name again? I can't think of it. Because that guy said, that, that actor said, I'm not going to make any more of these movies. So it has to be done with a different actor who plays a new Batman in the new Superman movie. A sequel to the Man of Steel. And that would be very interesting. But, you know, I really like the Superman in the live action TV show in the 1990s. And I really like the actress that played Lois Lane as well. That TV show was pretty well was pretty well, was pretty good. Uh, and then you have Smallville in the early 2000s. And I didn't really watch it at first. But I knew girls that was going to my high school. And I was like sitting next to them or sitting behind them in different classes like like marketing class or maybe not marketing class, maybe like economic class with Mr. Thompson and uh, maybe some English classes and you see some of these girls and they're girly and some of them are beautiful at the time and still beautiful I guess and, and interesting and then they talk about small field and, and eventually I found out that small field is about su Superman but I didn't really know but then I started watching eventually off and on and started start, started seeing more of it and started liking it and started thinking how interesting it was. So I really, really recommend the TV show Smallville. It's not as small as you think. And it starts getting interesting when they, they start adding different characters in it like the Green Arrow is in Smallville. And when the show starts there's no Lois Lane, there's this other girl. So it's like Clark Kent, the Superman, has like a girlfriend in high school. And then later, like a few years later in the show, like like the first few seasons it's like it's like Clark Kent, the Superman and this other girl. Liana, maybe? Or whatever her name was. And then like in the fourth or fifth season or something you know, he's not in high school anymore, and then he goes to college, and maybe, I don't know if it's after college, or during college, like, he's, like, working at the Daily Planet, in, in the metropolis, like, a big city, a metropolis, this is, like, maybe, like, New York City, but they don't call it New York City, for some reason, and, and he's working, you know, as, like, a reporter for the Daily Planet, and then he meets Lois Lane, and then they start falling in love. Or maybe they don't start falling in love at first, but eventually they do. They, you know, they have like eight or ten seasons. So they have plenty of time to work out these things and to develop the character development and relationships between different characters, like especially between the Superman, Clark Kent, and his love interest who may become his wife later on Lois Lane the wife of Superman you know the rela relationship between Superman and his wife or before she was his wife kind of thing and has enough time to talk about his other love before Lois Lane kind of thing I'm pretty sure it's really interesting with all the different characters and you'll see Lex Luthor who is like a billionaire he's a really rich person and, and he probably has like technology or robots or things to try to go after Superman and or were they ever friends and, and there's all these different things that are explored in Smallville because they have like 8 to 10 seasons to explore all these different things so they have enough time and that's the problem with, with movies is that they only have like two hours for each movie to explore so many things depending on the story 
and, and the different characters. And that's what I like about TV shows, is that it has a bunch of different movies, because each TV show episode, that's like an hour long, that's like a half a movie. And so two episodes is, is one movie. And then there's like 10 to 20 episodes or seasons. In some of the shows, it's usually just like 12 seasons, like shows like Dexter and The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad. And some of the shows that are on the, on the certain cable channels like HBO and Showtime and AMC, they, they seem to only have just 12 episodes, which some will say that's better, and others will say no, we want more episodes, but it may be better just to have 12 episodes a season, then you don't have any filler episodes, where they just like go off and do something silly because they have too many episodes, and the writers are running out of ideas because they're not as good of writers as you want them to be, and so they have to come up with filler episodes that just kind of waste your time, but they're there just to entertain you, but they're not really there to continue the overall, over hierarchy story of the overall story of the whole entire series of all the seasons combined. Because they're just the other se uh, the other episodes are there to be important, and then there's other episodes that are not important that are called the fillers. Now, does Small Tale have filler episodes? I'm not exactly sure. Just I ha I have not watched every single episode, but I've seen some of the of the first few seasons and some of the last few seasons, and so I probably haven't really seen the middle the middle seasons, but I'm not sure if they're important, but I will still recommend that you see Small Tale, and I don't really know enough to give you too many spoilers, so I don't think I gave you any spoilers, or no spoilers, but this is a really interesting TV show about Superman, Clark Kent, and Lois Lane, and the Green Arrow. And there is this other white blonde girl who who helps out with the technology side for Superman and Green Arrow, and, and she's in in charge of the technology and the weapons and keeping track of the of the things. And she's almost like the butler that you see in Batman. Batman goes into the cave and he he, he talks to his butler and he keeps track of the computer and technology and the weapons and the bat cave and the, and the Batmobile and probably like the Batman helicopter and the, all the different things that Batman may have in the movies or TV shows and cartoons. Batman has a butler and Superman has a has a, a white blonde girl in Smallville. And that character is is one of the most interesting characters in the small field series. And it's just interesting as you see Superman early on in the show not knowing how to use his powers and then he starts using his powers and how long would it take for you to start learning your powers? And and, and would you be able to save everybody as a Superman? What would you do as a Superman? How would you save people? Who would you save? And who would you kill? Or would you kill people or just tie them up like Batman? Would you use a gun or not? Like Batman did not use a gun. Would you shoot lasers out of your head with the risk of killing people? Is killing really bad people okay? Or not? What do you think about these different things? Tell me in the comments below. Or email me at original oatmeal at gmail.com and get in or get out what do you think about Superman and who's your favorite Superman from the different TV shows and movies 
and reboot movies and cartoons. Who's your favorite diplomat? Who's your favorite Lois Lane? And who's your favorite Lex Luthor? And other characters in the whole universe of Superman movies and TV shows and comics and cartoons. Who's your favorite characters and bad people and good people in the Superman world? And in Smallville too. What do you like about Superman? What do you not like about Superman? What do you like about the other different things and characters in Superman? What do you like and do not like about Smallville?